Hello, manifestors. Everyone is you pushed out. What does it mean exactly? And why do we even say that? Where does it come from? Because a lot of people make those videos about this title, everyone is you pushed out, without even explaining where it comes from. And it's because of that that some so-called Neville Goddard teachers say that Neville never said that. So is it true? Neville never said that? We are going to answer this question and explain what this means exactly. So if you are new here, please subscribe to this channel. By the way, thank you so much, guys, for all the compliment that I'm getting about my content on this channel. This really touched my heart. Thank you so much for appreciating what I'm doing and saying that this is the best Neville Goddard teachings explanation that really, really touched my heart. So I wanted to let you know that. So guys, if you are new, yes, subscribe, like the video if you liked it, share it if you liked it, and comment if you do all those things. That's going to help this channel to grow and help more people discover this content that so many of you have said to me that it's been more helpful than anything else you've heard before. My name is Sylviane. I am a manifesting coach. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and the email coaching. For my email coaching, at the moment I'm making this video, there is about a three-day waiting list. So it is first come, first served. I also have a Facebook group. It's a free Facebook group where I share some valuable information as well. And all the links are down below. So everyone is you pushed out. Why do we say this? Where it comes from? Is it true? Is it not true that Neville Goddard said that? We are going to answer all those questions. So first of all, the reason why we are saying this kind of weird sentence, right? Everyone is you pushed out. It's because it comes from the teaching of Neville Goddard. So for all the people out there that are saying that this doesn't come from Neville, here it is. This is what Neville said exactly. The whole vast world is yourself pushed out. All that you behold, though it appears without, it is within in your own wonderful human imagination, of which the world of mortality is but a shadow. So this is what Neville Goddard said. The whole vast world is yourself pushed out. So when you have a few so-called Neville Goddard teachers, that are actually saying that Neville never said that, they may not remember this quote from Neville, or they may not understand what the word world means. <laughs> okay, when Neville said the whole world is yourself pushed out, what did he talk about? Was he talking about the oceans, the trees, the cars? the houses, the streets? What is the whole world? <laughs> well, I speak three languages, and in those three languages, when we say the world, it means the people in it. So, when Neville said the whole vast world is yourself pushed out, he meant people right? More than anything else, he meant people. So the next time you hear anyone saying that Neville never said that, yes, he never said exactly you are everyone pushed out. He said the whole world is yourself pushed out, which means the same thing. 
everyone that you manifest in your life, not only your specific person, everyone is yourself pushed out. So to make it shorter, we say everyone is you pushed out. Potato, potato, it's the same thing. So now that we know why we are saying everyone is you pushed out, because Neville said that the whole world is yourself pushed out and it means the exact same thing. Why is that? Well, let's go back to Neville again. Because all that you behold, though it appears without, it is within. So everything comes from, he says it here as well, your imagination. Your imagination is not only when you close your eyes and you do a visualization session or go into a SATS. That's not all what imagination is all about. Imagination, it's every thought that's going through your head. It's part of your imagination. Whether it is conscious or unconscious, your imagination is all of that. It's your visualization, it's your thought, and it's even your unconscious thoughts. That's what your imagination is. And Neville said that this imagination of yours, which is where your true power is, by the way, while it is within, it appears without. So whatever you imagine within your God self, because again, Neville said it many times that God is in your wonderful imagination, your wonderful human imagination. So whatever is imagined in that God self of yours is reflected out onto the world because that world is what? but a shadow. And I talked about that shadow many, many, many times in previous videos. What is a shadow? Well, it's nothing really, right? Because a shadow is the reflection of a body between the sun and the earth. That's what a literal shadow is. And we know that it's nothing. It's so nothing that a shadow will move with you if it's your own shadow and will also change directions, right? According to where the sun stands. So with this said, the reason why you are everyone pushed out, it's because the only thing that exists is your human imagination, your consciousness in other words. That's the only thing that really exists in your reality. So if in your reality, you have negative thoughts about yourself, you feel that you are not enough, you feel that you're not important, you feel that you are poor, you feel that you are vulnerable, you feel that you are weak, if you feel all those negative things about yourself, you are going to manifest people that are going to reflect that back onto you in different ways. In the case of a specific person that leaves us, they have no choice but leaving you if you feel the things that I just mentioned because that's how the whole universe works and that's why we're saying that free will does not exist because the person in front of you has no choice but reflect what you are projecting out onto them so if you feel needy if you feel not good enough if you feel anxious about losing this person in one way or another, this person has no choice but leave you. Once you understand that, you understood everything there is to understand, especially when it comes 
to a specific person, but when it comes to every other people that you manifest in your life. If I take my own story, and I've talked about that several times before in other videos, I was, like everybody else, my own enemy. I was so good at making people abandon me, betray me, stab me in the back, disappoint me, taking advantage of me, you name it. I did that for decades of my life, since I was a child, all the way to way, way adulthood. So decades of that. Why was I doing this? Did I want people abandon me, betray me, stab me in the back? Did I want that? Did I want that consciously? No, of course. Not anyone that is normal would want that, right? But I manifested it because within me, I had, first of all, a huge abandonment syndrome and many other things such as feeling anxious, feeling not good enough, feeling not deserving, and so forth and so on. So people around me, not only my romantic partners, who definitely showed that back to me, no problem, but everyone, all the way to my own brother, who used to love me like we were twins. Every single person has either abandoned me or disappointed me in one way or another in my life that applied also to my bosses everywhere i have worked it applied to my friends it applied to every single person in my life why because i am everyone pushed out so if I have such negative feelings within me, deep down within me, people, no matter how much they loved me, they had no choice but to give me back, to reflect back to me what I was feeling about myself. Because they are part of my reality and they exist only according to what I believe deep down inside about myself, first of all, and about the world in general. This is what you are, everyone pushed out means. And this is why the first thing that you need to work on when you are not in the situation that you like in your life, when people are reflecting the opposite of what you want, this is why the first thing you need to work on is you. It's you. That's another thing. When people say you don't need to love yourself to manifest a specific person. Really? Does that go along with you are everyone pushed out? Because I'm sorry, if you are everyone pushed out, if you hate yourself, you are not, I'm sorry, you just are not going to manifest people loving you. And I am probably one of the best person to tell you that. I can confirm that 1000%. As long as you don't love yourself, good luck to find someone who loves you. Now, you may find someone that will love you a little while, but is it going to last? No. And Again, I am an example to that, okay? I had manifested, even though I was very crappy inside, I managed to manifest some people that loved me a little bit for a little while, but I was never able to keep them. So when you hear those coaches telling you, you don't need to love yourself to manifest a specific person, you know, look into their own background. Why are they saying that? Maybe they always love themselves and they don't even know. Maybe they are too young and they don't have enough experience. Or maybe they didn't take into consideration that, yes, you can manifest someone while you're crappy inside that will love you for a little bit because you happen to be an interesting person, a lovely person. But are you going to be able to keep them? No, 
you are not because you are everyone pushed out and eventually that person will have to reflect in the 3d world what you are inside and that's why eventually they will have to leave you because they can't help it so to recap is the term everyone is you pushed out from neville goddard himself yes because he said the whole vast world is yourself pushed out which means exactly the same thing and why is it that you are everyone pushed out because the only reality is your consciousness is your imagination which is the god within you and therefore whatever is within has to reflect without its law its spiritual law nobody can escape it so anyhow i hope this video helped you understand once and for all what everyone is you pushed out really means and if it helped please let me know in your comments share the video if you find it valuable like the video this helped the algorithm of the video and as always i'll see you next time bye bye for now